Hey, what's up? I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and welcome back to another episode of Aviation News. Today's topic takes us to Portland International Airport in Portland, Oregon. At Portland International Airport earlier this morning, an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 airplane had a bit of an incident, and that's what we'll be covering today. Earlier this morning, an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 arrived in from Seattle Tacoma International Airport to Portland International Airport. This flight was preparing to head off to Ontario, California as Alaska Airlines Flight 1282. This flight would be operated by a practically brand new Boeing 737 MAX 9, less than two months old, and delivered to Alaska Airlines. The flight took off as Flight 1282, departing at 1706 local time, bound for Ontario, California. However, at about 16,300 feet, just outside of Oregon City, there was an explosive decompression as one of the exit doors came off. The plane immediately diverted back to Portland International Airport to make a safe emergency landing. After a safe emergency landing at Portland International Airport, the plane was pulled off the runway onto a tarmac ramp and inspected. The problem was very clear. The exit door was missing. Luckily, no one was hurt in this incident, and it could have been far, far worse. However, following this incident, Alaska Airlines has grounded their entire Boeing 737 MAX 9 fleet, at least for the foreseeable future. However, this news isn't all good. The sudden grounding of 737 MAX 9s in the Alaska Airlines fleet could cause fleet disruption as Alaska currently flies more than 50 of the aircraft. Additionally, there is no final verdict on this incident and its cause, and if this accident struck Alaska Airlines 737 MAX fleet, maybe it could strike other operators, like United or American. Also, Alaska only flies a fleet of Boeing 737 aircraft, and 737 MAX aircraft make up 100% of their future fleet orders. In the end, if this turns out not to be an isolated incident, it would be devastating for the 737 MAX program to have another problem. In the end, Boeing and the other airlines that operate the MAX, such as United, American, and Alaska, are reliant on the plane to be safe and ready to fly as soon as possible. Alaska in particular, being an all-Boeing 737 operator, would be very much impacted by a MAX grounding and more issues would just lead to further problems with Alaska Airlines' bottom line. In the end, all we can do is hope that this is an isolated incident, and Alaska Airlines soon finds the problem and clears the plane to fly again. Well, that's going to do it for this video of Aviation News. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope the MAX can soon be recertified with Alaska and back in the sky. And as always, Wishing Alaska Airlines blue skies and tailwinds.